Let's go see how photographers pack their kits. Hey, we're gonna take this tram up the hill. We're gonna see some more photographers. Check it out. Nice view in the city. Susan Swiber? Yep. Matthew Day Smith. Matthew, nice to meet it's you. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. You're going on the road, you're headed to DC tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, yep. Okay. Leaving the house at 4 a.m. Some things I've gathered over the years, both by being an assistant and a producer and location scout before I finally sort of landed as a photographer. Um, I sort of made a decision to try to travel as light as I can. Largely, I travel by myself. Um, I find it's easier to kind of work alone. So, and I think the kit reflects that. And I've discovered that um, by buying, buying the ugliest, most hideous looking wheelie cart that <laughs> you can, <laughs> could possibly imagine, it allows me to sort of move through customs often without much uh, hassle. It also doesn't scream, camera. look, I've got $25,000 of the camera equipment right. in this little bag. And it's easier for me to put in the overhead bin, so I usually... Um, ask some poor unsuspecting male because it weighs about 42 and a half pounds <laughs> to help, help me. With this? I can't quite bench press that Wait, much. you were on that flight two days ago, 432, right? No, no. <laughs> if they do make me gate check the bag, I put these on, which I've, I've learned uh, uh, fragile means um, throw and or destroy in most languages. <laughs> I have a very simple kit. I have, uh, um, I'll just pull them out as I go. Okay. I, basically, I use the lens shades. Um, as you'll see, they're kind of crammed in here, but mm -hmm. they basically act as a buffer. A couple of uh, extension tubes here that I use actually quite frequently, particularly for sh shooting food. This is the 16 to 35. It allows me to shoot, you know, architecturally, it's an uh, aspherical lens, uh, L series, really sharp. Uh, allows me to um, get a lot of information into one picture. Uh, the 24 to 105, I, I worked with the 24 to 70 for a while and um, it was too heavy and actually uh, I missed the image stabilizer. This is my other lens, which I love. It's the uh, Canon 70 to 200. And again, I tend to keep uh, quick release plates on just about everything. And then uh, this is the 5D, okay. my latest uh, baby, the 5D Mark II, which I just stick in this nice camera wrap. I like to take camera wraps with me because sometimes uh, it allows me to walk around and I can not have to feel so, you know. But, so here's my 5D Mark II again. And last but not least, my blood. Good old fossil blood. I like it uh, because A, it's incredibly sharp. B, the images it renders are absolutely beautiful. And um, see, it's sometimes a little bit less intimidating for people, particularly if you're working with um, maybe people who are older. They, they'll say, I remember that camera, and it, it kind of breaks the ice a little bit. And then beyond that, we have... Uh-uh. Uh-huh. That's beautiful. 14 rolls per Ziploc, tabbed for TSA, and shucked. The security people love me uh -huh. because of this like the donkey straps. Mm -hmm. uh, these again have been What do you like about block. it? If I'm using the lighter weight tripod, which I'll show you, you can um, hook these together and then use this as a weight ah, for the other camera. Okay. So I can use one as a weight that oh. I hang from the bottom of the tripod and shoot with the other one. Okay. Instead of having a hard case, I said, you know what, I'm going to buy a carbon fiber tripod and uh, shove it in the bag. So I took Perfect. my tripod down to the luggage store and found this nice Eagle Creek Duffel bag. This is my baby. I've had it for years. And uh, I bubble wrap the head because that, that takes the most abuse. Um, this is a sandbag, empty, but mm -hmm. you can fill it with whatever you buy. I, I can fill a trail mix or whatever from the 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. So, but I carry it because again, it'll act like a weight if I know I'm gonna be out in a windy condition or shooting out of a car. I had an old Gore-Tex jacket that sort of bit the dust. Mm, so this inclement weather. fits perfectly over the top of your Canon 5D Mark II. No kidding. With the one, with the 24 to 105. 
And the brilliant part is that it snaps underneath. Mm. And the cinch cord and allows you to keep it tight. It's Gore-Tex, so it that. breathes. And it costs nothing. Perfect. So they say, OK, you can bring one camera and one lens. It'd be the 5D Mark II with the uh, 24 to 105 okay. and a polarizing filter. Mm -hmm. If I had to just take one, that would be it. 